Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. In today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you the seven most common mistakes that new print on demand sellers make. I see these mistakes time and time again, and some of these mistakes can even get your account banned. So if you are just getting into print on demand, please watch this video through. I think you're going to find it very helpful. So the first mistake that I see new print on demand sellers make is probably the most common. What this is, is expecting sales overnight. Now I don't blame anyone for this because if you're starting a business, you wanna start making money. You just don't really know what that timeline is. So I talked to a lot of you guys in the comments on my full print on demand tutorial here on YouTube, explaining that you followed the whole tutorial and you posted a couple designs when should you expect to see sales? Well, I'll say that the average time is about 30 days from when you start posting your designs to when you start seeing sales. However, personally, and talking to you guys in the comments, I have seen people get sales in the first day or two or three days from when they've posted their designs. This is obviously going to depend on your niche or your industry that you're creating designs in. If it's something that is trending right now, you might get sales a little bit faster. If it's something that's really competitive, you might take you 60 days or more to get your first sales. Now, I should also mention as a helpful piece of advice. That full print on demand tutorial that I was just referring to, I'll put a link to it in the description, but that goes through everything you would need to know to start in order to expect to see sales in that amount of time. All right, the second most common mistake from new print on demand sellers is not uploading enough designs. Think of print on demand as fishing. So the more lines that you have in the water, the more fish that you have the potential to catch. Print on demand has been taught by other people to focus on one design, really nail it, and then try to just make that one design your total winner. In my experience from doing print on demand for about 10 years now, I find that if you just focus on creating good designs and uploading as many of them as you can to the big print on demand websites, you're just going to get a sheer volume of sales. It's a lot less risky to do it this way. You're more diversified, you're in multiple different niches, and you have tons of different designs that can sell. If you put all of your eggs into one basket, with one or just a couple different designs, it's really risky because other people could start copying that design and taking your sales away from you, or ultimately that design just might not be a winner. So you don't get sales because it doesn't take off. So as a general rule of thumb, create as many good designs as you can and upload them to the main big print on demand websites. That'll put you in a much better position. The third very common mistake that I see new print on demand sellers making is they're not customizing their designs enough. So when I started print on demand, I was creating my designs from scratch, just coming up with ideas and trying to make them look good with text and images. And they weren't the most professional designs, but they were absolutely my designs. Now, a few years into it, I found out that you can use t-shirt design templates. They're basically copyright free, commercial commercially usable templates that you can then go in and customize those templates. So you're not starting from scratch, you're starting from a pre-made template that's made by a professional graphic designer. Now I've used multiple different websites that offer these templates. And what I find a lot of new sellers doing is they take this advice of using t-shirt design templates, but they're downloading the designs as is, and then they're uploading them to print on demand websites. Well, what happens here is although that design is copyright free and it's commercially usable, it is a duplicate if someone else has uploaded that exact same design for you. So if you're using t-shirt design templates, make sure that you're customizing the colors, the font, the graphic, make sure that you're customizing the text that's on that design. There is no exact amount that you need to customize these designs, but our goal here is to make that design ours. So when we upload it to another website, there is no exact duplicate of that design, so ours won't get taken down. That brings us right into the fourth mistake that I see new print on demand sellers making, and this one has become very relevant recently. What this one is, is uploading your designs too quickly to the print on demand websites. Now, when you're a new print on demand seller, you can go to multiple different print on demand websites. You go to Merch by Amazon, you go to Redbubble, you go to TeePublic, a bunch of other ones as well. And you can upload your designs there and then they sell your designs on their marketplace. This is a great business model, but the problem that these websites are running into is people are flooding new accounts with designs and the websites essentially take those accounts down because they think that they're spam or they're being uploaded by bots. With the rise of artificial intelligence, these print on demand platforms are just trying to be safe. They wanna make sure that if you are uploading designs, you're a real artist, you're a real person like you and me, and you're uploading them 
to start a business. You're not trying to beat the system or set up software that's going to upload them for you. So my advice here is when you start a new account on these print on demand platforms, start off very slow. Start by uploading just one design per day and then work up to two designs per day and then three designs per day. So start off nice and slow on these websites. The fifth most common mistake that I see new print on demand sellers is they're uploading designs that are in too general of niches. This is another one that's become very relevant in the last couple years because as print on demand has gotten more popular, which is okay, we can work with the competition, but that means that the general niches have gotten very full. So if you think about the general popular niches like dogs, cats, tacos, coffee, all of the big broad niches, all of them just consider them to be full. They're filled with competition and if you create designs in them, you're just going to go to the back of the pack because you're the new guy on the block, so you're not going to rank on the first page. This is where we start to get creative. So as a new print on demand seller, if you can find the sub niches that people have not discovered yet, that's where your designs, even as the new guy on the block, are going to show up first on that page. Now, I recently made a video on this channel showing how to find these sub niches. It takes me about 10 minutes to explain, so I'd like to keep it out of this video, just keep this video going along. So if you're interested in that, the link will be down in the description. You can check out that video. It'll show you how to find the low competition niches that other people haven't discovered yet. That brings us into the sixth most common mistake that I see new print on demand sellers, and that is infringing on trademarks. This is one of the unforgivable things that you can do in print on demand that will get your account Band. Now what this is, is if you create a design for print on demand and it has a company's logo or a company's slogan in it, something that is protected by another company, and you upload that to a print on demand website, that design can get taken down for copyright or trademark infringement. Now the other part to that is not only the design, but also the listings title and description. You can't put anything in there that is owned by someone else or copyright protected. The pieces of advice that I would give you to avoid this one because it's very important is if you're using a t-shirt design tool, make sure that it is copyright free and commercially usable. I've used multiple of these t-shirt design tools out there and not all of them are both of those. So I'll put a link in the description to the one that I personally use if you need a good recommendation on this. And the second piece of advice is to check all of your slogans, which basically the text that's going to go into your design, to make sure that they're not protected before you use them in your design. I'll put a link to another video down in the description that shows you how to do that. And that brings us into the last of the seven mistakes that I see new print on demand sellers, and that is not using keywords in their titles and descriptions. I am constantly seeing new print on demand sellers making this mistake, and they could have the best design and upload it to the print on demand websites, but it never shows up in the rankings because they haven't put the proper keywords in the title and description. So the print on demand platform doesn't know where to rank it. This is a very simple fix and once you start putting those keywords of what that design is about in the title and in the description you will see that your designs start to work their way up in the rankings now if you thought this video was helpful i think you'll really like the full print on demand tutorial that i was referring to in the beginning of this video i'll put a link to it down in the description along with all of the other videos that we talked about throughout this video so hopefully this video saved you from making a lot of mistakes and the videos down in the description will help you get your business off the ground all right guys that's it for this video if you have any questions at all, just let me know down in the comments and I'll see you all in the next video.